Hello and welcome to our summer circle time. Can you guess what we're going to talk about this week? We're going to talk about the ocean. Well, today we're going to talk about letter O and O is for octopus and ocean. We'll talk about the two sounds that O makes. So Sue, if you'd like to swim and have some fun in the ocean, I'm going to head back into the classroom and I'll see you there. So while Sue has some fun swimming in the ocean, let's talk about the letter O. This is what letter O looks like. And today I decorated letter O to look like an octopus. So I just drew two eyes and a happy smile. And I drew on, and I glued on eight legs for the octopus. These are just colorful strips of paper. All right, so that's how we're gonna decorate letter O. And this is what letter O looks like. Now let's talk about what letter O sounds like. Letter O makes this sound like my friend O when he has a sore throat. My friend O has to go to the doctor and the doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. Can you try? Put your finger up and say, ah. That's what letter O says. What does letter O say? Uh, well, let's learn how to write the letter O, okay? So to write the letter O, you're just going to start at the top, curve around, and back. That's how you make the letter O. Curve around and back. You can try on your paper or you can sky write like this. Curve around and back. To make the little letter O, you do the same thing. It's just smaller. Curve around and back. Do you want to try to sky write the letter O? Curve around and back. You can do it really fast if you want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, that's a fast letter O. Goodness, that's a pretty quick, that's a pretty quick writing assignment right there. Good job. <laughs> So this is the uppercase and lowercase O. Now we know what letter O looks like. We know what letter O sounds like. What does O sound like? Ah, uh, as in octopus. And now we also know how to write the letter O. Well, for our language time today, I'm going to tell you another sound that O makes. Before I do, I want you to tell me what the vowels are. Can you remember? A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. Well, we said O. Oh, o oh is one of the vowels. So that means it has two sounds. All of the vowels have two sounds. All right, so the, the sound that O makes, the first sound we've already talked about, ah. Uh, but the second sound that O makes is its own name. So on the count of three, I want you to tell me what your name is. Just yell it out. One, two, three. What's your name? Let's do that again. On the count of three, yell out your name. One, two, three. What's your name? Miss Kathy. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. When I count to three, then you yell out your name. One, two, three. What's your name? Miss Kathy. <laughs> well, that's, do you know what O's name is? O's name is O. That was your name and O's name is O. So O can say its own name, O. And that's what we're gonna talk about today for our language time. We're gonna read some words with O. All right, so I'm going to write the letter O here, and I'm going to put a line on the top. This line tells me that this O is going to say O. Okay, so in the front of that, I'm going to put a letter S. And letter S says S like a snake. And we're going to blend these two sounds together and read this word. S O. So, so, so. All right, now let's change this S 
and let's make it a G. And G says G, 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 G. Okay, so here we go. G, O, go, go. You read another word. Let's try a letter N this time. Letter N says N, N, N. Okay, so here we go. N, O, N, no, N, no. I want to do one more, and this is going to be someone's name, so I need to use a big letter. The first letter of our name has to be big or uppercase. Okay, so here we go. This is B, and B says B, B, B. So let's read this. B, O, B, O, B, O. This word is B, O. You did a great job. We learned that O has two sounds. O can say ah uh, as in octopus, and O can say O oh, as in ocean. And that's what we're talking about today and all week, the ocean. Well, one of the creatures that lives in the ocean is a dolphin. So today for math, we're going to be doing a dolphin number line. And I'll put the link below in case you want to get a copy of this. But on my screen, I'm going to show you this number line. And of course, it has numbers on it. Will you help me to count the numbers before we get started? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so there are ten numbers on the number line. And I want you to look at the top. And there are some more numbers. This first number is a 10. So I'm going to find number 10 on the number line. It's way down here. Okay, now let's take a look at the second number. That number is five. This symbol in the middle tells me I'm going to be subtracting or taking away five. So that means we're going to let the dolphin swim five spaces back. One, two, three, four, five. So now what number is the dolphin on? The dolphin is on number five. So 10 take away or minus five is five. So we're using a number line to do subtraction. All right, let's do the next one. What's the first number here at the top? That's the number six. What's the second number? Three. So let's start on the six and move three spaces this way. One, two, three. Now, what number is the dolphin on? Number three. So six minus three equals three. All right, let's do the next one. What number is first? Number four, so put the dolphin on number four. What's the second number? That's number two. So let's make the dolphin swim two spaces. One, two. Now what number is the dolphin on? He's on number two. So four minus two equals two. Let's do the next one. What's the first number? Five. So let's put the dolphin on number five. What's the second number? That's number two. So let's make the dolphin swim two spaces. One, two. Now what number is the dolphin on? Number three, so five minus two equals three. Subtraction can be super easy when you use a number line. And you did a great job, but we've been working hard on our letter and language and numbers. So now it's time to get up and move. Let's do music and movement. We're gonna do a song and it's called Move Like Sea Animals. And so the first sea animal in the song is a hammerhead shark. When you hear hammerhead shark, I want you to do your head like this. Can you try? 
boom, 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 like a hammerhead shark. Boom, boom, boom. Good job. The next one is a sea turtle. When you hear sea turtle, I want you to stand up and I want you to walk around on your tiptoes. It's going to say tootie tot, tootie tot, tootie tot. The next one's going to be a walrus, so I want you to clap your hands like a walrus. Can you try? Walrus. The next animal in the song is going to be a lobster. So can you snap your fingers like this? Snap, 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 like pinchers. Good, that's a lobster. Okay, the next one's going to be an octopus. So you can just flail your arms around like an octopus. You want to try? Octopus. All right, and the last one's going to be a manta ray. When you hear manta ray, you can get up and down and up and down like a manta ray. Okay, well, let's sing this song. We're going to only do just a little bit of it because it's not my video, but I'll put the link below so that you can hear the whole thing. Okay, stand up and get ready to move like sea animals. La, 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 la. A hammerhead shark, move like a hammerhead shark. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Hammerhead, bang, bang, bang. Hammerhead, boom, boom, boom. Hammerhead, boom, boom, boom. hammerhead. I'm a hammerhead shark. A sea turtle, a sea toes. turtle, move like a sea turtle. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there because this isn't my song. I'll put the link so you can quickly pull up the song and sing the rest of it for music and movement time. But now it's time for us to do art. So let's head over to the art table. For art today, we're going to be making a whale and we're going to be making it look like water is coming out of the spout on the top of its head. I'll put the link below so you can get this printable. Do you see the little hole right here? That's the whale spout. So I'm going to be using some blue paint and I added water to the blue paint to make it nice and watery and runny. And I'm, you're also gonna need a straw for this project. First, I'm gonna color the whale and I'm gonna use gray, but you could use any color you'd like to color your whale. Okay. So I'm going to just drop some paint at the top, right above the spout. Okay. Now I'm going to just use the straw and I'm going to blow the paint. So that makes it look like the water is coming out of the spout. Let's do it one more time. Okay, now let's blow. So there you have it. That's our art for today. We made a whale and it looks like it's spouting some water. Now let's do story time. For story time today, we're going to be reading a fun story and you're going to get to see lots of creatures that live in the sea. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean by Kevin Sherry. I'm a giant squid and I'm big. I'm bigger than these shrimp. I'm bigger than these clams. I'm bigger than this crab. Ouch! I'm bigger than that jellyfish. I'm bigger than these turtles. 
I'm even bigger than this octopus. I'm bigger than that shark. Shh. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Chomp. Well, I'm the biggest thing in this whale. The end. That story reminds me of a story in the Bible. Jonah, Jonah was inside a whale, wasn't he? Well, that might be another fun story. You can have story time at your house this afternoon. Don't forget, you can also decorate letter O to look like an octopus. You can paint some splashes that come out of the top of the spout on, an oct on a whale. You can practice some um, a letter O's, practice writing. And you can remember today that O has two sounds because it's a vowel. O can say, ah, uh, like octopus, and O can say its own name, O, like ocean. I'll see you next time for our letter of the day circle time. Goodbye.